During the regular season, 16 American whiskeys and ryes battled it out. Eight have already been eliminated, and the remaining eight play for the Kentucky versus USA championship today. It's the divisional round. Let's play. This is Versus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name is Arthur. And I'm Scott, and this is Artfully Bourbon. Before we get into today's episode, if you want to start at the beginning of the regular season or the playoffs, make sure to watch those in the Versus playlist. Yep, spoilers ahead. All right, I was rooting for the Browns, and they played a good half, but now they're out. You know who else is out? Henry McKenna. McKenna's out. And so is Chattanooga, Bottled and Bond. The wild card week, it was fun. But now it's time for the real pro bottles to go ahead to head. Let's take a look at the versus bracket. The number one and two seeds got buys and the others won last week during the wild card week. On the Kentucky side, we have the number two seed, E.H. Taylor going up against the number three, Larceny Barrel Proof. And the number five seed, Four Rows of Single Barrel, is taking on the number one seed, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Single Barrel. Man, I like all of these. So it's gonna be a close one, in my opinion. Scott, do you have any favorites? You know, I gotta say, I think the Larceny is a strong contender. I like Four Roses but I was surprised by how well it did last week in the wild card. Either way, it's gonna be fun, but we can't forget about the other side. Tell us who's competing for USA this week. The number one seed is the Holiday Rick House Proof, and it's taking on the sixth seed, Widow Jane Tenier. While the number two seed, still lost in cast strength, takes on the number three seed, Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast. Yeah, if the name means anything, I'd go with the beast in this one. <laughs> well, it doesn't. <laughs> and I think this battle is going to be a, a very interesting one. Both are tremendous bottles. I think Widow Jane surprised us a little last week. It has a great flavor, but it will have stiff competition today. Any favorites on the USA side? I mean, how can you not root for an underdog? Yeah. I'm really pulling for the Widow Jane. Man, it's going up against a real killer bottle. Yeah. I really do like all of these. I think, I think there might be a possibility for an upset. Okay, it's almost game time, but before we get into it, a quick reminder of the rules. All right, today we have four blinds, one for each of these matchups, and the winner will move on, the loser goes home. Bye-bye. Bye. Like the regular season, we're gonna taste each contender and rank it from one to 10. 10 is the absolute best thing we have ever tasted, Five is an average bourbon, and one is something we're gonna put on a rocket ship and send to outer space. Our ratings will be based on today's overall experience of aroma and taste. And after we taste, we're gonna share our ratings. Let's start on the Kentucky side. All right. The two versus three matchup. All right, that matchup is the number two seed, E.H. Taylor Small Batch and it's taking on the number three Larceny Barrel Proof. Okay, the glasses are ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready too. Okay, we're gonna go from left to right, glass A. Okay, all right, aroma. Aroma. All right, wow, okay. Fruit? Mm-hmm. I get a lot of baking spices. Yeah, I get I get some cinnamon, a little fruit. Maybe a little cinnamon toast. Just a touch of oak, a little rye spice maybe. Yeah, a little char or that toasted aroma. Yeah. I don't know, I got, a, got like a happy nose. Kind of like happy trees. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. All right. Cheers. Cheers. It's got some flavor in there. Just a little bit. <laughs> I still get cinnamon and some baking spices from the nose. Mm -hmm. I get some chocolate spices, 
It's kind of earthy, but also sweet. I get more sweet. It's creamy. I get some caramel, maybe some brown sugar in there. Mm -hmm. uh, mixed with just like a little oak and like a bold, bold spice. Mm -hmm. The finish is really, really like bold. It lingers. I mean, I'm still getting a hug. It's just not real long on the palate. There's that earthy note. I don't really know what it is, but it's like a nice little funk mixed in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's my favorite part. Mm -hmm. All right, are you ready to compare glass A to glass B? I'm ready. All right, aroma. I get some, some caramel, vanilla, or is that maybe butterscotch? Maybe a little both or a little combo there. It's really nice. I do you get, hmm, do you get a little corn? Yeah, I do get a little bit of corn, but I think it's definitely more fruit. Yeah. I think there's a little earthy, kind of licorice. I get some alcohol from this one. There's a little, a little proof on it. Okay, time to taste. Cheers. Cheers. Floral, fruity. Some vanilla. It's not really complex. It's it's pretty nicely balanced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. I also get a little corn sweetness, but I don't think it's a, a bad thing. I really like it. Yeah, the spiciness is subtle, uh, but there's a little bit of oak and pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like the finish. A little earthy note, some leather, a little oak, touch, a little touch of spice, not not much, but a little bit. But like glass A, the finish, just wish it was a little longer. I totally agree, but it's a nice one. Yeah, all right, time to score. I'm gonna start with glass A. Okay. Okay, first off, I really like both of these. There was some similarities, but also some noticeable differences. Glass A was a great bold and balance of flavors. Just, just a strong overall pour. And I'm gonna give that one an eight. Okay, number eight. Nice. All right. All right, Scott, are you ready for this? Yeah, go. Class A gets a number nine. What? <laughs> I was not ready for that. Yes. This one, whew, so good. Have we given a nine before? That was our first one. Yes. All right, well, this one deserves it today. Man, this is bold, flavorful. I mean, everything about it was just amazing. Maybe not the most amazing thing I've ever tasted, but man, it's close. And you know, I know, you know, you all know, we have a beast in this tournament, but we have now two. Yeah, that is some high praise. So with an eight in our first ever nine, Glass A gets an average score of 8.5. Okay, <laughs> tell us about Glass B. Does it get a 10? <laughs> glass B does not get a 10. But you know what it does get? What's that? Oh, it gets a eight. It's really good, mm -hmm. but not quite Glass A in my opinion. Uh, it's got a really nice flavor profile, but after drinking glass A, didn't quite match up to glass A. Truthfully, it just lacked a little of the bold flavor that I liked in this one. Mm -hmm. Guess what? What do you got? I give it a 10. Oh, no way. Okay, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> okay, I give it an eight as well. <laughs> nice. Just a, a super strong, flavorful, bold, spicy profile. Just overall, just really superb. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, Glass B, eight and eight, gets an average of eight. Mm -hmm. And well, I think we, we a have a winner. 8.5. All right, 8.5 versus eight. Here we go. Oh boy. Glass A yeah. was Larceny, barrel proof. Yep. I suspected that. The higher proof in this one just gives it, oh man, just killer flavor. Yeah, this bottle was a beast. And we have our first upset of the day. 
a three taking down a two. Maybe a beast on beast final. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, you're right. Can, can you edit that out? <laughs> Next up, we have another great matchup. The Elijah Craig single barrel, the number one seed. We'll be taking on the number five seed, Four Roses, single barrel. Let's go. Dive right in. Glass A. Okay. Let's smell it. Aroma. It's oaky. Yeah. It's a little caramel. It's fruity. Maybe a maybe a dog. Maybe a little apple. Apple, and I get a little bit of orange. Okay. Yeah. I, I think I get that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a, a little heavy on the oak. Well, let's taste it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's it's uh it's definitely caramel forward on the palate. Yeah, holy caramel. Butterscotch or toffee or something like that. Mm. You get any fruit or oak? Man, it's I think it's subtle, but not a lot of fruit, which mm -hmm. kind of surprises me. Yeah, I miss it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do get cinnamon and I, I get oak um, more on the back end. Okay, time for glass B. All right, glass B. I'm ready. Okay. It's softer on the nose, it's fruity. Vanilla, floral notes, not a lot of alcohol. Very pleasant, but it's very different than glass A. Maybe a little baking spice in there. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see how it tastes. All right, cheers. Cheers. From the nose, I did not expect that on the palate. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Wow, it's not a bad thing though. Mm -hmm. It's really good, mm -hmm. uh, but way different than the nose. Spicier than I expected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with some sweet, honey, fruit. So many different flavors. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could be here all day picking them out. Yeah, I mean, vanilla, baking spices, mm -hmm. maybe a little baked apple pie? Well, that's, that's weird. I don't really get that. I mean, it's definitely complex, but also it has a nice balance. Yeah, there's a little bit of spice on the front and on the finish as well. Mm -hmm. I get a little lingering kind of charred oak. Uh, and there's a, just a tiny bit of earthy note on the finish too. Yeah, more of a cocoa flavor than anything real like musty. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's a little bit more like a chocolate. Okay, let's rate these. All right. You... Go first. Okay. I like both, but neither were amazing today. I give glass A a, a seven. Okay. Okay. Some good stuff going on. Just feel like it didn't didn't really hit right today. Mm -hmm. uh, especially because the first matchup was so strong. Yeah. I tend to agree on the on the toughness of this matchup. Both are nice, I would say. And these are two bottles. I would normally recommend trying. I mean, I, I do recommend trying. Glass A was a little on the hot side for me and lacked a little balance, uh, in my opinion. Had a nice flavor, but it was a little kind of sharp on those some of those notes. And I'm gonna give it a number seven because of that. Okay, so glass A gets an average of seven. It's a good one. It just didn't blow us away today. All right, glass B. I got this one. Okay. I will give it a number seven as well. It's more balanced and not as harsh as glass A. It has some spice, but it's mixed nicely with the other flavors. And this one is flavorful, interesting. It just didn't really blow me away today. It's definitely above average. Okay, well, you're not gonna believe this, but I also gave it a seven. No, wait, no, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. 
while it lacked a little bit on the nose, it did present a great complex group of notes on the palate. It just fell a little short of being exceptional. Yeah, wait, wait. We just gave out quadruple sevens. This is our first for us. Each bottle got an average of seven. You say each score seven. Mm -hmm. um, all right, well, what, what's next? I don't know, we've never had a tie before. <laughs> Um, you want to flip a coin? I, I think I got one. Yeah. Well, we could. Well, hold on. Let me think about this. <sighs> what if one of us just changes our number? I, I kind of feel like that would be a little unfair. Okay. Um, all right. Oh, I got an idea. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Let's let the community decide. All right. Yeah, I think, I think that could work. We're gonna put out a poll and whichever one wins the poll, wins the matchup. Okay, look for the poll in the community tab on our channel page. Give us your vote for either Elijah Craig's single barrel or Four Roses single barrel to help us determine this winner. All right, but what if the poll ties? I, I don't think it will, but if it does, I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so after this episode, Go to the poll and pick your winner. Okay, no more ties. Let's head to the USA side. Okay, what's up first? We have number two seed, the Still Austin Cast Strength. Going up against the number three seed, Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast. All right, we're ready. We'll start. Left or right? Okay, glass A. It's a good, good start. It's an interesting aroma. We get fruit, maybe a little toasted wood. Maybe jelly and toast. Or maybe I'm just hungry. <laughs> Could be. No, no, it does. I, I get that. It's uh, almost like a toasted cherry caramel. Do you get leather? Or something kind of earthy. Mm. Maybe a little soft, milky chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay, time for the mouth. Let's taste it. Cheers. Okay, that's a, that's a different taste than what we had on our room. You know what I'm saying. Honey. Toasted note does come through from the nose. It's kind of nutty to me. Yeah, a little bit. A little fruit, creamy flavors. Mm -hmm. It's not real sweet. Uh, I'd say I agree. It's a little, a little more nutty, mm -hmm. creamy. I think for me, it's a little maple syrup. You getting that? Yeah, but it's it's not. It's not overbearing. I think it's just right. It's not overly sweet. It is, I would say, pretty balanced. And it's, it's a nice sipper. It's easy to drink. All right, let's move on to glass B. All right, glass B. Aroma. Wow. It's cinnamon and vanilla. Vanilla for sure. Maybe uh, a little fruit. Cherries, maybe? I give it a little citrus. And you know what I get? I get a little mint. No, you lost me there. Maybe a little grain? Yeah, like a, it's like a little grass or like something herbal in there. Do you get lots of cinnamon? Like a, a little bit of a cinnamon toast? Yeah, it's definitely unique. Taste it? All right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Man, mm. caramel and cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Caramel or butterscotch. I get the cinnamon I got from the nose. It's almost like a candy. Mm -hmm. Like a cinnamon candy, but with a creamy toasted coating. Mm, yeah, I can get that. <laughs> yeah, I still get the red fruit in there as well. Mm -hmm. I really like the that little spice on the end. It's like a, like a toasted fruit mm -hmm. almost. Yep, yep. You ready to score? I think so. Why don't you go first? Glass A is going to get 
an eight. Uh, I find glass A really unique. It has a nice mix of flavor without being overly spicy. A little bit of everything, in my opinion, like we talked about all the flavors. Creamy, toasted nuts with just a little bit of fruit. And I'm digging the complexity and the balance on this one. Yeah, I agree with you. Glass A gets an eight. It seems a little traditional, but at the same time, it's not. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the complexity is really, really nice. Each time I go back to the glass, it sort of changes a little. No one flavor really sticks out. So it's a little bit of a discovery every time I take a sip. Mm -hmm. Well, the first glass today on the USA side starts us off with an average score of eight. Mm -hmm. How did glass be fair for you? Yeah, for me, these were equally good. I had to give this one an eight as well. I thought the flavors were, were definitely on point, maybe even more so than glass A, but at the same time, I thought it tasted maybe a little less mature than glass A. Okay. It was good and not eight good enough. <laughs> I give it a seven. It was close, but glass A just stood out a bit more for me in this blind. This one had a you know good flavor, had a little more heat to it, but the flavors were just a little sharp at times, in my opinion, and the balance just wasn't quite there. All right, so the score, you gave it a seven, mm -hmm. I gave it an eight, and that's gonna average out to 7.5. Yep. All right, we have our first USA divisional winner. Glass A takes it by a narrow margin of eight, the 7.5. Let's see. Still Austin, Redwood Empire. Oh, there we go. All right. Glass A is Redwood Empire Grizzly Blazed. It's got <laughs> to be the name that gave it the win today. Yes, I would got to so. be. Would say so. All right. Wow. All right, we have second upset of the day. Number three takes down the number two. So both of the number threes took down the number twos on both yeah, sides. Yeah. How about that? Two upsets today. These are both great bottles and highly recommended. Mm -hmm. But in the end, the beast moves on to take on the winner of the holiday and widow jane coming up next all right congratulations to the beast all right let's check out the number one versus the number six battle but before we do if you are enjoying this versus postseason hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the rest and while you're subscribing click on that like button as well it helps more people see this video and we thank you All right, you ready to do this again? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Left right. to right. Glass A. Okay. Aroma. Oh, wow. Okay, heavy caramel, vanilla, some oak. Yeah, I, I get a little fruit in this one too, like mm -hmm. a creamy, Yeah. like a creamy fruit. Yeah, it's pretty, I'd say on the traditional side. I like to refer to that as a classic aroma. <laughs> You know, it's, it's not really spicy at all on the nose. All right, you want to taste it? Let's taste it. All right, cheers. But I would say the palate is pretty non-traditional. Mm, definitely different than the nose. I get a bit more citrus, orange maybe, maybe like some other fruit in there. Yeah, like maybe like a sweet maple. Maybe like a little, little fruit. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little vanilla, uh, like a vanilla cherry, like candy maybe. Yeah, totally. And maybe like a little, like some nuts in there as well. Yeah, like nutty vanilla cherry candy. Is that a thing? <laughs> I think <laughs> I you know. just invented something. There's like no, there's 
virtually no oak or spice mm -hmm. on this. Very similar to that nose. Yeah, I think the finish seems a little lacking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a little touch of spice on there, but just a little baking spice, maybe a little rye spice. Okay, let's compare it to glass B. All right, glass B. You ready, little guy? <laughs> All right, aroma. I love smelling so many bourbons at one time. <laughs> the nose does have some standard bourbon notes. Maple syrup, maybe a touch of cinnamon. I get a lot of flavors. Mm -hmm. There's a little more char um, and oak on this one than glass A. A little more fruit. Cherries, red berries, red fruit, something or other. I get orange. Yeah, there's a, there's a little citrus. Do you get corn? I think there's a little bit. It's sweet. Okay, let's taste. All right, cheers. Oh man, that is good. Wow. The mouth is feeling complex and balanced. Yeah, it starts off with cinnamon, a little caramel. There's a little spice, I think on the front and on the back end. Gets a little fruity in between. Heavy on the cherries and citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just get a little hint of earthy chocolate. It's like fruit and chocolate. Maybe it has some earthiness to the, towards that end. Do you get it? It does kind of get spicy towards the end a little bit, um, but I think the fruit is pretty consistent for me. Mm -hmm. Orange peel. Mm -hmm. Orange peel. Yeah. Like a like an old fashioned, a good one. Hmm. All right. Well, I gotta taste it again. Mm -hmm. Not quite, but I I can see that like with a little bit of ice. It's really nice. Chocolate fruit. Sweet notes, earthy, vanilla, spicy. It's kind of got it all. Yeah, lots of flavors in this mm -hmm. one. I agree, 100%. Let's rate this matchup. I'll start this one off. Okay. Okay, glass A for me gets a seven. Seven. It's solid. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I like that it offers up some great standard bourbon notes. It has some non-traditional tasting notes as well. Yeah, I gave it a seven as well. Uh, I really like the uniqueness in this one. It's really unique flavor. It's balanced and interesting. It's different, but in a nice way. I could definitely drink this as a daily. Okay, so glass A gets an average score of seven. All right, I give glass B, wait for it, wait for it. You ready? Mm. And eight. You know, it's like glass A in a way, but a step up for me, uh, just taking it to the next level. I really enjoyed the flavor and it had a little more of a spicy finish. Just, just enough of it. Mm -hmm. You didn't give it a six, did you? <laughs> I mean, I can put up another poll. No, I don't think that'll be necessary <laughs> because I gave it an eight. Nice. Yeah. We agree. Yeah, I agree. It was everything that Glass A had to offer, but just those additional spicy, bold notes that really put it over the top for me. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Well, that means that Glass B gets an average combined score of an eight and takes the win in this matchup. All right, class B right here is your winner. All right, do you know who won? I might have an idea, but let's have a look. Is that what you guessed? Mm -hmm. All right, the winner is this one. The Ben Holiday Rickhouse Proof. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. But let me tell you, Widow Jane is really growing on me. Mm -hmm. It's underrated, in my opinion. Yeah, I do wish it had a little higher proof. I mean, it's, I think it's like 91 proof or something like that. Okay, next week we have the conference finals. On the Kentucky side, we got the Larceny Barrel Proof, which is gonna take on either the Four Roses Single Barrel or the Elijah Craig Single Barrel. And on the U.S. side, we have the Redwood Empire Grizzly Beast taking on the Holiday Rickhouse Proof. 
Man, that was fun. We hope you enjoyed watching. And don't forget to vote. We need a winner between the Four Roses and Elijah Craig single barrels. Give us your picks for next week. Leave us a comment. And hit that subscribe button and catch the rest of the postseason. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace.